So you want to switch between different cameras in your same scene. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at how to switch between uh, a few different cameras uh, using binding markers uh, with your cameras, which is really, really cool and really easy to do. So, first of all, let's go ahead and I'll make my start frame zero just because it's a pet peeve of mine. And I'll go ahead and I'll select my camera. And the first thing you want to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and, and name our cameras. We're going to name them something easier to, uh, to remember. So, I'm going to name this first camera main. Uh, then I'm going to duplicate this camera right here. And maybe I'll rotate it around um, and uh, and move it like let's say right right uh, right about there. Yeah, sure, it looks pretty good. And as you can see, you can see this main camera here has this solid. Let me deselect it. It has this solid black triangle up at the top, which means that this is the active camera. If I look at this one, you can see this one's not solid. It's just wireframe, which means this one is not actually active. Uh, so our main camera is active, which is nice. If I if I hit zero on my numpad, um, then you can see we've actually gone into the camera's view, which is what we uh, which is what we need to do. So I'll go ahead and I hit G to move that around. By the way, G is move. Uh, I'll go ahead and down, go ahead down here to the timeline. And now we can get the uh, magic going on. If I hover my cursor over top of a uh, a place, if I put my cursor over top of a place, sorry, not hover. Uh, let's say I want to change cameras on frame 50. I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard. Now you can see this little markers popped up. If I if I scrub over top of the marker, you can see it kind of pops up and down like that, which means that on frame 50 there's a marker for this camera. This camera has to be selected, so make sure you select this camera, whatever camera you want to switch to. So uh, we have this 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 marker right here for the camera. But what we need to do is we need to go down here to view and then bind camera to marker. So now this camera is bound to this marker on frame 50. If I want to go down here and go to this 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 camera right here, I'm going to name this um, second, uh, that's going to be our second camera, maybe secondary, yeah, secondary camera. Uh, and what I want to do is on uh, on frame 80, I want to change to this camera right here. So I'll go ahead and hit M in our in our timeline once again, and I'll go to view bind camera to markers and you can see now that this triangle is now filled in and is now no longer wireframe which means this camera is actually our active camera if I zero my numpad you can see now our camera does actually go into this camera's view which is exactly what we need so if I go ahead and uh, play this on frame 50 it will change well you can't you can't tell because this camera was already active so I'll go ahead and I'll duplicate this one more time so you can see the first camera actually become active I will make this camera active in the start so on frame zero I will hit M and add a mark no hit M I have to have my cursor in the timeline hit M uh, then view my camera to markers and this one will be called uh, third third airy yeah sure uh, uh, we'll go ahead and move that right there on frame zero our uh, our first our third area camera here will be active. Then on frame 50, it will change, and then it will change again on frame 80. So let's take a look. There we go. And right now, and right now, you can see how awesome that is, and how easy that is to do. We can make some really cool panning cinematic shots here. If I go ahead and add in a location keyframe right about there, and we'll go ahead and move it just a little bit. And then the same thing with this one. We'll move it a little bit. Location, location. And then for our final camera, we can go ahead and hit I, location, and uh, and location, uh, right about there, I, location. So, now we can go ahead and take a look at our awesome cinematic. Bum, 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 And that is how you bind different cameras to different markers to switch back and forth between them in your scene. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. If you did, let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye-bye.